Hello and welcome to Math Meets Tech. I'm Andrew Capretto. We're continuing our series on teaching with iPads and the Notability app. Today I'm going to show you how you can import pictures into a note that you already are working on. And that's great for like bringing student work for an answer or bringing in special media that you've got saved and ready and queued up for yourself. Great uh, resource and great uh, opportunity to really save yourself some time and uh, create a more dynamic presentation for your students. I'm going to show you how it works. There are a couple of ways that photos can be really helpful to uh, your notability teaching experience. So one way is, let's say I've had students working on a set of problems. I'm kind of walking around the room, checking on how they're doing. And as I see students get different problems right, I want to show their work. So I'm going to take number eight from this worksheet here. So okay, I'm going to kind of zoom in on number eight and I can hit up here in the top right hand corner the plus and I can go to the camera and now I can go and find some student work, take a picture, I'll say yes I'm going to use that photo and boom, wow that's a little bit too big. So a couple things I'm going to do, I'm going to crop it so you can shrink it down to be just what you wanted here. Oops. Shrink it down a little bit. Um, and then I can hit the checkbox. And then I might even want to shrink it a little bit. And I could put it right in there as the answer to that problem. Might be a little bit of work, uh, but it's really cool if while they're working, you're walking around and, and doing this as well. You certainly could just be taking pictures and flipping through them on your camera roll as well. But you could be inserting them directly into uh, Notability. Another thing that you can do is you don't have to take the pictures from uh, your camera right away. When you hit the plus sign, you can import from a photo library. Now, I specifically have a number of things that I often want to paste in. Um, doesn't apply exactly to this problem, but I have a folder set up in my photo app, and I'm gonna and I called it math. And so in that folder, I have things like a coordinate plane. So if I want to add that. Boom, I can put that right on top of whatever I need and I can now have a graph space for my students. And I can put it in there, I can zoom way in, and that's super helpful. Let me show you actually real quick, since I talked about having a folder uh, for tools, um, how you can do that. You might see some of my photos here in the process. But I'm going to go to the Photos app. And if you go to your edit, down at the very bottom, you can create albums. And so I'm going to click New Album. And so I can call it whatever you, whatever I want. Maybe I wanted to call this, um, you know, my technology class. Great. So now I can pick full photos that are going to go in there if I have them already. Or I can later add them there. But now I've got a folder called Technology. I come back over here to Notability. When I click on Add, it put me back in that folder. So I'm going to go back. And now I see this Technology folder. And so now I can add this picture if I want it. So having those quickly there to be able to add things in um, can be super helpful because you can have lots of different media that you might want to use all the time. There are other things you can put in. You can put little clips in and stickers in and things like that. I've never found those terribly helpful, but um, you certainly can do all of those things as well. You can't even scan in an entire document. So uh, when you do that, if you hover above a document, it'll find the border of that. And once it finds the border, it'll take that. And so um, now I can say, hit save. And should I insert this as a PDF, as an image, as, an, as ink? So I'm going to insert it as, I guess I'm going to insert it as a PDF here. Um, and it looks to me like it added it to the bottom of my document here. Let's see. Yep. Now I have a new page in my document that has that scanned page in. You probably wouldn't be adding this to another document. You'd probably be just doing this from scratch. But you can uh, add things in that way as well. So that's all of the uh, adding images and photos to Notability and the power that you can really have doing that. Thanks so much. Hopefully this was helpful to you.